there is a new update and we can now have unlimited maps strip maps in car wrecks and there is one new car as well which we're gonna check out real quick it is called zypher stock it looks like this body kits okay stock uh this oh okay i already like this car that is like such a big change these could be two different vehicles the other one okay i love it fine buddy and uh, maybe it's like for racing or you know fd because it has the bumper delete and the last body kit which honestly i love the most big exhaust over here as well so we're gonna put that on spoiler alert boys oh my god there's a lot there's a lot of spoilers one two three four five six seven eight nine now the important part is how good is it for drifting but first let me get a paint job dude that looks good guys look at this now if only it drifts good it's been a while since we have had a new drift car in car Rex. this is important moment okay i mean first episode jump was kind of a success it needs something it needs an engine swap we're gonna put a b8 in this listen to this quick tune over here this is gonna be on 69 because i just i just like the number so now becomes the proper test how good is the vehicle okay the engine definitely made a significant improvement already oh yeah i think i'm gonna keep this vehicle boys this is like a one minute tune over here the car is good oh the car is good boys look at this 360 test first of all successful good another way yeah, Troll 360 is right off the bat. A new loading screen as well in Carx, by the way. Now, boys, we also have three new body kits. The R35 is the first one. First new body kit. This is R35. Atlas GT. And this one now has a Pro Flow body kit. So this is a new body kit. Three, two, one. I mean, it's it's a lot. It transforms the car. Another body kit is for Zismo Z4 RT body kit. Stock body kit transforms into... Wow, that is a really interesting nose. Uh, okay, what happened on the rear over here? This over here and boom. Big changes at the rear as well. The fenders look like kind of squarish. The tour body kit is for the Lexus, which is uh, Eleganto in the game. And we have a Street X body kit. Lexus RCF. Default body kit over here. And now we have Street X, which looks like this. Very aggressive again. Jesus. Okay, I can see people using this for like FDs. Stock. And it's just wide body aggressive, a lot of aggressive lines over here. Yeah, new car, three new body kits, and boys, unlimited maps in car now. Guys, if you don't believe me, you can now develop your own maps and upload your maps into car Isn't that wild? Look at that. Workshop, track workshop in the game. And boys, these maps, you can download them from Steam Workshop before you say, oh, but Steam Workshop is for PC players only. Lil Birdie told me console is going to be able to access the Steam Workshop maps as well. I don't know how, but Lil Birdies don't usually lie. We're going to have unlimited maps in cars. People are going to create maps. We're going to download them in like uh, 10 seconds. Right now, we can only access this update on PC because because it's a beta update which means it will soon be in the normal version of Carrex and then it will be for console players as well right now on pc you're gonna put the game on ptr 2.19.0 but you go into steam workshop on pc on workshop you can already see there is gonna be cars now there's also maps in that same place where you could download modded cars there's now maps as well you can already see a couple of maps right now there's i believe four maps and i downloaded like three of those basically gotta click on the modding steam workshop and just click one button it's a green button which says subscribe close comic subscribe and then if you go into workshop track workshop then you should see the downloaded maps over here as well i downloaded these three now if we make a server all of you who join will have to have that map downloaded from steam workshop if you're in the server list we have a new icon this means it's a steam workshop map you have all the normal tracks over here right on top and all you gotta do is scroll all the way to the right side and after the default maps you can see now on the screen you have these modded maps so test map shadow valley that's what i downloaded from steam workshop mod and the carrier drive yeah these are the three maps that i actually downloaded so we should be able to make a server so let's do it 
And we're in! Janif is in. Oh, I'm downloading deliveries as well. Oh, okay. That's a new feature. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Boys, 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 boys. When people join the server afterwards, if they're in the lobby, download delivery. Does this mean lag is fixed in CarX? Look at this. Because lobby is used to lag in CarX when people join. Does this mean lag is fixed now? Right now, there is no lag. That's crazy. Wait, if there's no lag, what are we gonna whine about in CarX? We now have infinite maps. I haven't lagged at all. Look at this, downloading livery. And there is no lag. The reason why we lagged earlier in CarX was because game tried to, I guess, download the livery while loading them in, which caused the lag. The time it takes to load one livery was the time the game lagged. You guys understand what I'm saying? Usually, the lag was like 1 to 2 seconds, which is exactly how much it takes to download someone's livery when they join the server. Carvex might actually have fixed lag. That's bigger news than the new car and the maps. I have not yet lagged in this lobby once. Carvex is saved. There is no more lag. Infinite drift maps. We got a new car on top of it, some new body kits. What else do you want? Huh? But boys, let's uh, check out the new map. One of the new maps. We have infinite maps now. So this is one of the maps that we just got in Carrex now. Which is wild. People are already sliding. Look at this. Oh my god, guys. Look at this. Boys, Carrex is fixed. Wow. They actually fixed the game. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We significantly optimized livery loading for the online lobbies that help to minimize lag when new players join the lobby. Oh my god! They confirmed it, they fixed it! Yo! It's finally happening, boss. Official tweet by Karis. I'll be honest, I miss getting the lag attacks. Like, what do I even rage about now? I can't even rage in Karis anymore. The game is fixed. What do we do now? Oh, wait, let's uh, check out the other map, boys. There's another map. Let's make a new lobby. Carrier drive and as you can see we're doing it without mods in the game server is up look at this boys What is this map about? So I guess oh, yeah, it is a uh, literally a warship movie some more warships I guess these like FT layouts. Yeah, FT layouts it would be really good for comps. Let me try it out Send noodles people can create maps now and upload to CarX and other people will be able to download the maps from Steam Workshop at the moment but I guess there will be an option for console to download these maps as well maybe from in the game I'm not sure that's cool I guess the way it works is if you don't have the map and you join server whose map you don't have it downloads the map for you that's probably how it works W updates honestly best update we have ever had in CarX it will be in the normal version of CarX soon and for console as well just buckle up wait a bit like and subscribe and as always stay soundless peace